Moving now to a News 13 follow-up and in your morning growth tracker, we're checking on the progress for a future rural civic center in Horry County. News 13's Taylor Maresca joins us live in the newsroom with how this could bring a new kind of tourism to the coastal area and even help with college education. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Melissa and Patsy. Horry County is known for its beaches, but officials want it to be known for its inland tourism as well. Horry County's somewhat of a one trick pony in which we have tourism, we have the beach. If we had a bad weather year, we had hurricanes, whatever the case might be, that kind of gets shut down and our, our income tightens. And that's where they come in. Horry County Council is hard at work bringing a new rural civic center to the area. It will be a place for horse events, monster truck shows, conventions, and even large scale music concerts. It could also be a place for colleges to grow. Veterinary programs could have a place where livestock is readily available. Something that Coastal Carolina, which is always looking to expand, doesn't have, but they haven't had a facility to be able to do that. An enormous uh, opportunity for, uh, for the college to grow uh, in another aspect and, and give something for the students that uh, they have traditionally not been able to get. A location for the center has officially been chosen. It'll be 500 acres off highways 501 and 22 along Hardwick Road. Mascarelli says a small portion of the land has been dedicated to the National Guard for a training facility. You know, in this position, you hear all the negatives all the time. I have not had the first person give any negative comments on this facility, the purchase, anything. I, so I would say this has been viewed uh, to this point as a very, very positive uh, undertaking by Horry County uh, to, to grow our area and diversify it from just people staying at, at the beach. At last check, more than $2 million has been raised for the project. Councilman Mascarelli says they continue to raise money for the center. In the newsroom, I'm Taylor Maruska.